Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome to Kingdom. This is going to be a sort of a miniature let's play for this cool new game that I found on Steam. The developers were nice enough, Roarfury.com was nice enough to send me out a copy to try out and um, I really really like the game so far. I played it for about 40 minutes so far. I made some bad decisions, <laughs> ended up dying, but I was told that I was probably going to die. They compared it to kind of like a Binding of Isaac that you you kind of you kind of get the um, the it's a difficulty learning curve, but once you start learning how to make better decisions and strategize a little bit better, uh, you can get further and further. There's also a win condition, but they wouldn't tell me what it is. <laughs> so uh, basically. A lot of in the description says that wise rulers know their kingdom will fall. Brave rulers do not despair. Great rulers know riches can rule. Calculating rulers spend every coin with care. In kingdom, each coin spent can tip the balance between prosperity, decay, and you can attend to your domain, border to border, venture out into the wild to discover its wonders, master the land, build your defenses, and when darkness comes, stand with your people to protect them from the trolls who come out at night crown on your head until the very end so let's just get right into it so uh, you can use a and d to move left and right you can hold shift to sprint as you move and you can press s to interact with stuff um, you spend coins as you get from different things in the game to kind of expand your kingdom and fortify it so we'll get into that more when we go closer as you can see the the pixel art style is just really really cool these deer here uh, can actually be killed along with some of the other wildlife for gold so everything that gives you any sort of reward is in the form of gold which will accumulate in a bag on the top left corner of the screen and you can also find it here and there so as you can see I just dropped one gold in my bag and I got a few more so it says hold down X to light a fire which is actually S so I'm gonna hold down S and the coin fills up and you can see that uh, the the process starts so we got a couple things going over here we got a workers and a soldiers outpost so I can go there and 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 buy bows and hammers pretty much to make people uh, fill those roles so to speak so you can also throw coins on the ground and recruit people that you find so here we go with another now I have two people so if I hold s down it'll stock the the deal with a bow and they, <laughs> the bow and arrow comes out and they just start firing at the wildlife here and getting me some money so as you can see if he can ever hit it he'll hit the rabbit and he'll turn the rabbit into a coin there we go <laughs> so they hunt and they can also be positioned on outposts to get a little bit of, um, of fortification and defense okay let's do the same thing here it costs three instead of two but this puts a hammer in one of our workers hands now the worker will grab the hammer and can start actually building stuff or harvesting stuff so let's see right here it says we can hold down s to build a wall so this will come up and it's kind of like a framework and if you have any workers available they'll start working it says watch so the wall is built and then it's going to build into that now at night as they said what ends up happening is the trolls come out and they try to break down the walls now they can get through and every time a troll hits anything it can knock the weapons out of peasants hands for instance and if it hits them again it'll actually turn them back into peasants to where you have to rehire them so uh, L2 to gallop I don't know what the control bases are off of it might be off of a controller I did try to play around with the controller but now you see how this guy just shot and picked up that gold coin if I go buy him he'll say oh I collected a coin for you and he'll give it to you which is pretty cool so it says build expand and defend so what we probably need to do is venture out a little bit and find some people to expand our kingdom a little bit uh, we have the option to spend gold on quite a few things here but we don't have a whole lot of people so the first thing is first is to get these guys hired up so we'll go ahead and drop a couple of gold here and they'll go back to the kingdom and basically look for something to do so the only two roles that I have unlocked right now or the soldiers and the workers there are a form there are farmers as well but it takes you a little while to get to that so I'm gonna go ahead and buy two more bows and that's gonna equip the the other two guys that I 
a purchase or whatever. Now right here, I think is a form, but this is a wall. So this is going to build up a wall. My worker is going to come over here. He's going to build a wall. Now, the strange thing about the, um, the, the soldiers is that they won't kill wildlife if they're stationed at a wall. So right over here, if I spend three credits right here, what will happen is this will end up becoming like a, um, I guess, a, what you call it. And that was a troll, by the way. Um, it'll end up coming up to like a uh, kind of like a guard tower and they won't hunt when they're on a guard tower but you need those to defend so soldiers become pretty important pretty quick and there's the guard tower I was speaking of now now he's not gonna shoot any rabbits or get it, get any gold and you can you can kind of make those bigger as you see fit too as well as if you come out too far over here let's say if I come out over here and there was the ability to build a wall here and I don't have any warriors when the trolls come out, they would just unequip them. So right here, there's a chance that I could take. Now that it's daytime, I should be okay. I'm going to go ahead and place a gold here, and it's going to mark this tree for chopping. That's going to allow us to expand, and it's also going to give us a little bit of money. So we'll do that, and we can do that for a few more here. But at the same time, i got to be really, really careful because if you get too far out, it's the more chances that you can get into trouble with the trolls. So I don't have any more money here to hire these guys. So I'll have to go back to the camp and see what happens. Now, every morning I have taxes that come in. Let's go ahead and see what happens here just to show y'all how the trees get harvested. It's a pretty simple process. He hits on it with his hammer a few times. And there's the gold. And it takes you a little while to pick up. Sometimes it doesn't recognize immediately. There I go. There he goes. So I have one person over here. I might as well just pay him since I'm over here. There we go. And he'll hire up too. So these little village camps continue to spawn, I guess, over time, new people. And these guys are making me a little bit of money from hunting. That's good. And here's my taxes. Every day this happens. I don't know what exactly determines how much money that you get, but that little chest will open up every morning when you pass by it. Okay, so we have a little bit of money now. We can probably think about making this a little bit more fortified. Okay, so this is going to be a better guard tower, so to speak. And there we go. Now we have a couple of, uh, we got a couple people. So let's go ahead and buy another hammer. And one of our empty hands will go ahead and pick that up. And then I'm actually going to buy another bow here. So the other set of empty hands will grab that. We only have one coin left, which means we can probably go out. Oh, we have three coins left. Perfect. Uh, let's buy one more bow. And if I can go out here and grab these last two peasants that I saw a little while back, should be pretty good. Now it is turning night, so I have to be real careful. If I get too close, the trolls will come out. I wonder if y'all can get back in time. There we go. So if I spent money, for instance, and the trolls came out and attacked these guys, basically they would revert back to their unhired state and that would just be a waste of money. And everybody knows that wasting money is not good to do. <laughs> I feel so much more confident going into this playthrough than I did the last one. I actually recorded the last two from the, the get-go just to see how we would go and the sound ended up coming out a little bit too loud. Um, but all in all, it was still really really fun and I was like yeah I gotta shoot it <laughs> I gotta show it off I really like it so I'm just gonna do another playthrough um, and this is a game that I think I can I can spend some serious time in I don't know how much of it I'm gonna record but it is going to be a good time I'm gonna go through at least a solid playthrough for you guys and let y'all see it okay should be pretty safe here now this is <gasps> Oh no, 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 no. Oh man, we were so close. So the my archer did manage to uh, to salvage one of them. Dang. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks so bad. Okay, I need one more coin to rehire that guy. I'm gonna have to wait until morning. See, fortifications are important. Okay, here we go. 
There's my taxes. Okay, let's rehire these guys. So I wasted like... I think I wasted like two or three bucks right there, unfortunately. Okay. We're gonna get this area fortified. This is how we expand. And this is another wall, I believe. So let's see, there are no bows left. I don't know if I have any extra people right now. And this I can set up another fortification, but I need a little bit more money. The music is really cool in the game, by the way. Alright, so we do have some extra workers. We might as well work on getting a little bit of this wood chopped. And this will actually give us some money back as well. So if I go over to the right, you'll see that my workers are probably starting to come out here. Where were they? Yep, they were way out there, though. I guess they were building some stuff out here. Thank you for the money, honey. Okay, what do we have here? Um, I don't know if I want to expand that far yet. I think I need to make sure that we're working on fortifications well. No more people. Oh, there is one more. Oh, what is this? Some sort of caravan? I don't know exactly what this is. What is this? Some sort of church? I don't know, that's pretty cool though. I hadn't seen this. Maybe it's kind of like a roguelike. Can I... Oh, four? Oh, he's gonna come to town now. I guess it's a merchant or a traveling caravan of some sort. Very cool. Alright, I wish there was a way to tell archers to come, you know, and protect. But I think we should be okay. Famous last words, that's what I said last time too. Okay, this peasant is heading out to pick up an extra bow, I believe. Yes, I do have an extra bow ready. Alright, it's almost time to upgrade. All we need is three bucks to upgrade, let's do it. There we go. Camp. Alright, and you can upgrade to all the way, last time I got up to like a castle. I think there's a couple more setups that you have to go through first. Okay, it's nighttime again. Oh man. Come on, guys. Get across the border. That's all I'm worried about right now. We can refortify this if I had some more money. So, what's crazy about this is these guys are gonna come and. Yeah, there they go right there. So, I got. Okay, there was only two? It gets progressively harder, believe it or not. <laughs> you can imagine it would get progressively harder. But the moon's almost gone. And I think on night five, there was a blood moon last time, which made it like a pretty much a big old horde. So what is this merchant actually going to do for me? I'm curious. Are you just going to pass on through? Oh wow, he just, he just sold us a bunch of hammers. We paid him and he gave us a bunch of hammers, like four. Well that was a good deal because I only spent five to hire him and he just filled up like our whole shelf. So no bows, ah okay, so the traveling merchants kind of give you that hookup. So we need people now, um, okay, let's go to the left some. Wait, first I want to worry about fortifications. Okay, that's some fortifications. Um, that's for more bows. Let's get one more. And then I can only hire one other person with the, the money that I have left. I wonder if we got anything here. Oh yeah, babe. And this is for farming, I believe, which I haven't unlocked quite yet. 
old people. Yep. Come on, guys. Come on back to camp. Okay, that's two. Good. And we should have enough for another bow, maybe. We need one more... What is this? Oh, that's another wall for another line of defense. I like that. Okay, we'll need a little bit more money here. Come on, kill this rabbit for me. Two rabbits. I need this money, man. <laughs> they can't, you can't shoot where the door, can you? Blind as a bat. Right. Okay. Increase the wall fortification here. Dun -dun. Nice. Okay. Oh, not enough yet. I need a little bit more money. Oh, here we go. Good. Okay, come take your station, man. Come take your station and guard. Okay. We also need a little bit more money and I'll be able to get another bow. Alright, there's one puck. Oh no, there's two. Let's let's do the bow. Okay, there's an extra weapon. Somebody take hold of that. Oh yeah, we got a little bit of money from my hunters. Okay, I think we're gonna be all right tonight, you guys. I think we're gonna be all right. It's too late to build out here. I don't want my workers coming out here beyond the, the safety of the camp. I'll buy another bow. Oh heck, let's do one more. All right, I got three bows lined up for people. Can I fortify this any further? Not yet. We just stand guard and wait, I guess. I hope it doesn't get too intense. I got three. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. I feel defended. So, how many licks does it take to break that wall? Uh, that many. Can y'all hit him, please? There we go. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I need better walls than that. Okay, this is another wall as well. Not enough. I'll need a little bit of cash before I upgrade those. We also need more people. Hmm. And this is another line of defense. Okay, got that, and I'll get my taxes as well. There we go. Okay, time to go out for some people again. I can also upgrade, but I really need, I really need workers and guards. Uh, Y'all should pick up as we go too. That's fine. Let's see if I can recruit any people from this side. Before it gets too dangerous out. Also need to go back and see what that uh, that mysterious building was over on the right side. Okay, I'm out of stamina. That's why my horse is breathing hard. Is there no villages out here? Okay, there's a village. And people. Okay. Yo, get your butts back to town, please. I think that's the furthest I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna let them go all the way back to town, grab some tools and stuff. That merchant might have kind of messed me up. It was cheaper, but I got too many workers now. I don't know if they can fight or what they can do, but like there was like four people carrying a hammer. I don't need that many workers. I don't think I do. Maybe I, I mean if they, as long as they don't get hit, I suppose it won't be bad. Okay, there's another form set up. We'll go ahead and get a little wall going here. And another little fortification right here. Thank you for the money. Okay, what else can we do? So we still got three hammers there. We can improve our kingdom. 
that's a good a good good investment right there okay we got a fourth bow oh that's a former too yeah we're gonna start the foreman process here as well you guys have any money thank you Blood moon. It's bad weather, that's for sure. Oh, I don't like them sounds, man. I don't like those sounds. Okay. You guys come on in here. You can take up some arms if you want. Day are we on? Already forgot. See how they just picked up tools? I needed them to pick up uh, bows, man. That's the only thing that's bad right now. It's too many darn workers. That merchant kind of messed with me up. Okay. We're going to need some more people as soon as it turns day. I hope we don't get in too much trouble overnight. I'm being chased currently. And it looks like we got attacked from the left side overnight. Unfortunately, we probably lost a few workers here. Now granted, a lot of them had already taken up tools when they should have taken up bows. But it looks like they all got unhired, so we did lose some money. Well, that is going to wrap it up for today, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off. And we'll see you next time.